It's obvious we humans can easily express our emotions at our own will, isn't it? No, it's not obvious. While for some of us, it comes naturally, we are easily able to express our emotions, a lot of us have a hard time expressing our emotions, because of which we end up looking less empathetic, less social, and sometimes less impactful. If that's your story, I want you to keep watching this video till the end, because in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting phenomena called facial feedback hypothesis. TV. My name is Shreya. I'm an image consultant, a mental wellness counselor, and now a YouTuber sharing science backed personality development tips and techniques so that you get the success you deserve. Facial feedback, a phenomena that occurs in humans, is a natural loop generated between our mind and our physical behavior. Facial feedback hypothesis found its roots from Charles Darwin's times, where he explained the importance of facial muscles to intensify any emotional experience that humans have. And later, William James, a famous psychologist and physiologist, took this research to the next level by stating that we humans can generate emotions by merely changing the contractions of specific facial muscles, meaning we can take charge of our emotions. Whatever emotion we want to experience, we can experience that by making those appropriate facial gestures. Isn't that an amazingly breakthrough research? Think about all those people who are unable to express emotions. Thanks to facial feedback hypothesis, there is a solution. There is hope for all those of us out there. And by the way, there are quite a lot of us out there who are unable to generate appropriate emotions at the right time. So using facial feedback hypothesis, I'm going to show you how you can feel certain emotions at your own will. I'm going to be using BEM's self-perception theory, where BEM stated that if our internal emotional responses are weak, then we need to take help of our physical characteristics, our facial muscles to experience certain emotions that we want to. So to prove that, I'm going to replicate a famous experiment that has been tried hundreds and thousands of times. In this experiment, we take a pen or a pencil and I'm going to place this pencil horizontally in my mouth. When I will place it horizontally in my mouth, I will be forced to make certain facial contractions, meaning my facial muscles will be forced to move a certain way. Let's see. Now, because the pencil is horizontally placed in the mouth, my lip is open. And as you can see, my lip is open and the wrinkles of my eyes are beginning to form. So we all understand that this expression is closer to the smile expression. So because my zygomaticus muscle, this particular muscle is now beginning to get engaged. Now if I continue to make this particular face for let's say three minutes, four minutes on the upper side, five to seven minutes, my mind is going to be completely into some sort of uh, an upheaval. It's going to feel what's happening. She isn't happy. So why is she making a happy face? Because it doesn't know that I am forcing a happy face. It just knows that there are certain facial muscles that are uh, being formed on my face, which means that th I am happy. So what my mind is going to do eventually is that my mind is going to take the cues from my facial muscles and it is going to generate happy hormones which we also call testosterone sometimes dopamine which is pleasure seeking hormone so all the positive hormones will to some extent maybe a very minute extent will start generating in my blood level and i will begin to experience a marginal increase in my testosterone levels this is not uh, an experiment that has been proven by me this is an experiment done from uh, william james time and has been replicated by numerous face facial scientists like paul ekman in another part of this experiment the subject is asked to place the pencil vertically in the mouth and I'm going to do that right now so when I play a pencil vertically in my mouth like this my lip is not going to be open so because my zygomaticus muscle is not engaged and my lip is closed my mind is now getting a very different signal so even if there is a happy news I am making this face 
or rather I am forced to contract these particular muscles and now the signal that my mind is getting is that she's neutral or worse she is sad so the mind again gets confused it feels that you know there was a happy news that was shared to her but she's making a sad face or she's neutral which means that maybe she is not happy so when this experiment was done on subjects there cortisol level which is the stress hormone was marginally increased when that person held the pencil vertically in their mouth for let's say three minutes four minutes five minutes like this oftentimes people sitting in meeting rooms they are being shouted upon or other people are just taking them for granted and this person is not able to express certain kind of emotions through their face or through their voice and this person feels really low in confidence if this happens for months weeks or years imagine what the plight of this person is who is not able to express or emote at the right time so if you are this person i want you to use the science of facial feedback hypothesis and try making certain expressions on your face forcefully change some facial muscles so that your mind gets a certain cue and it starts releasing the kind of emotions that you want so as your mind is going to release the certain emotion that you want backed by the face that you're making there's going to be a double effect and that double effect is going to translate in expressing the right kind of emotion and that way you're going to be appropriate to the situation not only through your words but also through your body language and that's really powerful right so next time you're annoyed with somebody and you want to express that annoyance to that person at that moment and you're not able to, all you need to do is make a furrow of your bro and stay like that for 30 seconds and you will begin to experience some sort of anger or disturbance and hopefully this facial muscle is going to give enough cues to your mind and you will be able to emote the right way. This is true even for a positive emotion. Next time you want to really be happy and pleasant in a situation and you are unable to, all you have to do is make a face by engaging your zygomaticus muscle by smiling and uh, with an eyebrow flash. When you do that for a few seconds, you'll realize that happy hormones will begin to get generated. We are not talking about massive increase in hormones, maybe a marginal increase in hormones. And sometimes that marginal increase is enough for us to move and make that shift. That's all from me. Now it's over to you. In the comments, you're supposed to let me know how did you receive facial feedback hypothesis and how has that helped you in your personal or professional life. If you like this video, please show the love, like it and share it with as many people as you think should watch content like mine. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are we waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button right now and also hit the bell so that next time I upload a video, you receive a notification. Thank you so much for watching and take care.